Yo, what's up, guys? Wonder Mickey is here, back again after that failure of a stream to actually do some content clearing today. German counterattack against Pedro Spero on 30 stamina. What we are going to be using is a Snake Man team with a friend carrot team with a friend captain carrot and I gotta say I struggled with this a lot more than I should have so Carrot being interesting, that we can ignore all shields, everything. Great shield, good shield, perfect shield, uh, health shield, damage reduction, damage threshold, everything. We can ignore everything. The only thing that Carrot can't pierce is resilience. We do need something for that, but we have Magellan for that. So, until we get to the final stage, it's actually going to be pretty simple. First stage, we'll just take care of the mobs. You're not actually in a... in any rush to get there. These guys only have 4 HP, so you don't even have to hit perfects on them, you can just hit misses. So, stage 3 against Bavaroys. Bavaroys will rewind our cooldowns by 3 turns. So, what we're gonna do is use our carrot special here to get those cooldowns back by 2. And we're going to take down Bavara and hopefully one or two of the cannoneers in the back. Now you can use Luffy special in here too. It's completely up to you what you want to do. That's the beauty of this team, there's a lot of leeway, you can choose what you want to do based on what makes you feel more comfortable. But against Daifuku, Daifuku will change his typing to strength and will also gain some shields, damage reduction and damage nullification against Quick, but as a carrot is on our team, we can once again totally ignore that now as you clear Daifuku and move on to the next to the final stage make sure that your Sengoku is going to be ready against Perospero that's pretty much aside from the other specials make sure all your specials are going to be ready against Perospero of course uh, the carrot and Luffy you can ignore because you only you basically only need the four specials down here we don't need the captain specials we're gonna pop the Luffy special and then we're going to use our Nami special to change our block orbs into matching and the Daifuku Okay, I already used my Nami special, but Daifuku will, for three turns, preemptively either give us Paralysis, Attack Down, or Burn. Now, Nami, as a free-to-play character, is a great way to get rid of all those debuffs 
and get yourself full board matching orbs. And that's basically it. Now we'll just kill Daifuku and move on to the last stage. Last stage against Perospero. Perospero has about 7.2 million HP and once again he will get a rainbow shield, damage threshold, a combo hit shield and three turns of resilience. Now, Carrot can ignore everything except the resilience. Even if we hit Perospero for 14 million, he will still have that 1 HP because of the resilience. Now, the MVP to get rid of the resilience is actually our friend Colosseum Magellan. Magellan will poison Perospero, that will cause damage to him at the end of the turn. If his HP is at 1, great. The poison will kill him. We will also get a conditional attack boost because of the poisoning by Magellan. Next, we will change the bomb orbs into matching orbs with our Caesar special. And lastly, we will get rid of the despair of five turns, which turns into two with three with max despair sockets. Now, interesting thing about Sengoku, you will also get a two times orb boost with this team composition. So even if you don't hit your perfects with Luffy against Daifuku, you will still get your orb boost on this stage. So whatever you, no matter if you screwed up against Daifuku, as long as you make it to Perospero with these three specials available and Carrot having her uh, max captain ability still in effect, you're good. So Sengoku got rid of the got rid of the despair. And now we will just kill him. As you can see, this is way overkill. And there we go. Easy peasy. Now, personally, I am going to farm the Katakuri side of this uh, event because it's a lot faster and a bit easier for me personally. But I will make a team against the Big Mom once it comes back, but probably it won't, it won't be a pretty team. Actually, Actually, now that I have Sanji Judge, I have the entire batch, that might just be the easiest team to clear it. But we'll see it, see it next time, so get grinding, get those legends, and I'll see you guys next time.